Do you like smelling like gas? Do you like not making electricity at idle? Do you like magnesium in your engine? Do you like cloth covered fuel lines? Do you like your fuel line rubbing on the ignition wires? Do you like the burn ward? Do you like being surprised when you make it to your destination? Then buy a classic beetle. Wear a scarf, act woke on your first date, and try not to think how hot your engine oil is becoming on a long uphill. My name is Nick, the microphone disaster. Beetle on the street like I'm coming to play canasta. I can't stop and I'm never gonna stop. Dropping bars in my car cause I got her out the shop, finally. 1974 Volkswagen Super Beetle. The Oscar Mayer hot dog of car culture. It's, it's fine. Whatever. If I'm hungry, and it's what the concession stand is serving, sure, I'll have one. But no amount of condiments will make it good. If it's cold, and where I'm going is too far to walk, sure, I'll drive a classic bug. But no amount of style makes this a good car. As soon as you get over the gas smell, the exhaust smell, no. and, and any, any regard you have for your own personal well-being, <laughs> it's really not that bad of an automobile. <laughs> The engine is a 1.6 liter flat four mounted over the rear wheels with a dual port intake. Older engines had a single port. Electricity is produced by a generator, not an alternator. You get hydraulic brakes, but they're unboosted. The master cylinder is under the car by the left wheel. Super Beetle, the official car of driving away from a commune after you find out the Sunshine Leader owns stock in Procter & Gamble, Lockheed Martin, and Raytheon. You get drum brakes all around with excellent response after you push through the non-existent bite. And the brakes are not self-adjusting. And new brake shoes don't fit the curvature of the drum. Justin had to adjust them four times until they finally wore in and seated properly. And here's a note from Justin. If you're running a plastic fuel filter in your classic Beetle, you're asking for disaster. This engine bay gets so hot and the engine bucks so much that those little chintzy plastic filters are an unacceptable weak point. Go put metal ones in right now. 1974 Volkswagen Super Beetle. More than a ride, less than a bargain. You think you're going to drive this to Venice Beach and skip along the boardwalk like you're in a copper tone commercial. But like getting a dog when you're nine, you don't realize the amount of upkeep you're in for when you get a classic Beetle much less a super beetle, which is basically just a regular beetle that ate a Mario mushroom. When you, when, when you see something advertised as a super beetle, it doesn't, mean it's, it doesn't necessarily mean it's faster, it has a better engine. It was just expanded in all directions to make it slightly larger than your traditional bug. Owning one of these is a nice idea. At first, it's a classic car that doesn't carry the baggage of classic car aesthetic. No old man is going to walk up to you and ask what you're running underneath the hood in the back. Go ahead. Take this to a car show. The level of discourse will be riveting. A beetle is a beetle is a beetle is a beetle. They blend together like Shocktoberfest scares during the zombie run. But what you get in the trade-off is a lesson in learning how to love something from afar because it's too damaging to your time and money to love it up close. Maybe you're one of these people who a classic bug is your dream car. That's okay, no judgments. But it's also okay to say, you know, maybe it's a car I'm not meant to own, at least not right now. So it doesn't surprise me that Justin sold this bug just recently. Yeah, it's already out of his possession. It's a car like a college relationship. Fun in the moment, but built for letting go. And if you're owning a classic Beetle in the northeast and expecting that you're gonna drive it all the time i don't know you might not have the time or the inclination to give that car the kind of life you think it needs it'll just sit under a cover you'll come out in spring and then it'll go right back under the cover when the 11th hour blizzard hits because pennsylvania autumn is for the last hurrah for your classic car before it goes away for the winter it's the last hurrah for the needle-thin shred of summer sanity that vanishes the minute Thanksgiving hits, and you're meeting a bunch of relatives you haven't seen since you were 15, and remembering why you went so far out of your way not to keep in touch in the first place. <coughs> oh yeah, I'm your cousin Max. I'm, I'm 44. 
I swipe right on 22 year olds on Bumble because if it goes badly, I'm, I'm just going to be a learning experience for them. When you're 37, you're only looking to, uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, oh, I shit myself a little bit. Uh, there you go. Uh, give her the old, the old London Fuller Chronic Orchestra. <laughs> Get it? London Fuller Chronic. Uh, you just don't want to waste your time. Mm, oh, mm, that's a new smell. I mean, the biological clock is ticking, and let's be real, I'm just trying to jump bones just like I did in Super Ghouls and go, I'm hip, I'm cool. I'll have the ham. In 1974, the MSRP of a Beetle was between $2,630 and $3,475, which comes out to over $18,000 today in 2019 on the high end. Sounds very affordable, but you also have to understand that the Honda Civic costs the same as these things, and these things were on the market at the same time. So why, if you just needed practical, why, why would you choose this over a Civic in 1974? Well, it's 1974, and the 55-mile-an-hour speed limit was imposed to save on fuel in an attempt to counter-program the global inflation due to the gas shortage on the high cost of manufacturing, along with other things people took for granted. But the Honda Civic still got better gas miles than this in 1974. As a car, it's terrible. Hills make it slow and hot. I mean, its comfortable cruising speed is 45 miles an hour. The battery is under the rear seat, and if the rubber stock battery cover is gone, you better put something over the terminals or the battery is going to short out on the seat's metal cot-like springs. Volkswagen didn't put an oil temperature gauge in Beetles because it's better to be blissfully unaware that your oil is turning into lava back there. And yet, classic Beetles hoist a fish-like following. This is the only classic car owned almost exclusively by people with no mechanical knowledge. They think they're going to park their beetle in front of REI, get out, spread their legs, and welcome all the compliments. They're transfixed by the car's Bambi-like enduring cuteness, before realizing that looks is the only thing this wartime design has going for it. You can take your bug to your mechanic, but it's gonna be there every month. The engine shakes itself out of tune. It runs differently depending on barometric pressure, giving these cars more moods than a maternity ward. So, four things happen with bug owners. Number one, they lie, and they say their car runs great, and they never had a problem, which is related to number two. They have WRX money to pitchfork at their mechanic to make their car happy. Or, number three, they throw themselves a social media pity party and linguistically flop around asking why the gods are punishing them. Or, number four, they get a basic tool set and learn. They'll join the forums and they'll discover how to keep their classic bug running on the cheap. They may not learn the theory behind why what they're doing is working, but they'll at least correctly know that when the car makes X sound, you turn Y nut. And for that, the classic Beetle earns my respect. It will make a mechanic out of you. Driving dynamics, I mean, steering is surprisingly sharp, which comes down to the very narrow wheels. Each wheel has about three inches of contact patch on the ground. So, you know, it doesn't take much to turn this manual steering. Mostly you'll be using third gear. Hard acceleration is dealt with in second, and most of your in-town stuff will be done in first gear. By 1974, the Volkswagen Beetle was pretty much done in the U.S. The craze of having an air-cooled engine, that fad came and went. And it was really the time of Honda and Datsun during this decade. And again, in 1974, the price point didn't make sense. Why have this when you could have a Civic, or if you need a performance, a Z car, and have something that would start every single time and not need constant preventative maintenance to keep running? But when we were driving around, every single driver's eyes looked at us. And it's so weird. People look at these things like they've never seen a bug before. But maybe that's weird about how... The culture of the Volkswagen Beetle, like people, like the Volkswagen, people who are into classic bugs are only into classic bugs. They don't care about anything else. 
that yes, they own a classic car, but they're not into car culture. It's sort of like how DeLorean people only like DeLoreans. They don't like anything else. Or people who get the, the Jurassic Park uh, YJ. They're not really into Jeeps. They're into something else. I mean, maybe people think if they get a Volkswagen Beetle, a classic Beetle, somehow their, opin their opinions will matter more at whatever meetup they go to. A Volkswagen Beetle is a fun sometimes car in 2019, as long as you check your expectations at the door. It's fun, but it takes constant care to be fun. It's a car you pretty much have to babysit mechanically, or else it's going to be way more trouble than it's worth. But the trade-off is that it's a perfect car for wrenching, for learning how to take care of something. Hell, a Super Beetle probably won't make you feel as good as a dog will, but it's a more valuable gift than one if you're trying to teach a kid responsibility. Here you go, Sammy. Here's a classic Beetle. Here's a Harbor Freight's mechanics kit. Go to town. Dropping bars from the start, from the heart and soul. Harder than an XCOM when he's on parole. Last week, not a car, but tonight our goal is to keep the cars vintage like we're Michael Cole. So keep your eyes peeled, cause we're on the loose. Gonna paint the town brown when we drop the deuce. If you say my name thrice, then I'm kicking your caboose. If you're coming for the beetle, then you're gonna get the juice.